right, we're back and we're ready to crown the 2008 Heat Seekers champion. And the coach Hellman is leading us off. Nicole, a very, a very hard thrower. And we're going to see several hard throwers in this matchup. Your son's a real hard thrower. Robbie doesn't throw it too light himself. Uh, Nicole and Steven, her partner Steven Reno, qualified for today's show right here at the Pilgrim Lane, setting a, a record for our show with a 265 string, uh, score. During that 265, they had four marks in a row at one point in the, in the, sec in the first string. In the second string, they had three marks in a row with, with a double strike. They threw a 120 and a 145 for the 265 score. And uh, they started out here with a 10, Potter and Taylor with a 7. Both young ladies with a spare leave here. A little tricky wood for Chelman. It's just deep enough. And she tried to sneak by. Tough shot. Both girls looking for a 10. Nicole Chelman and Steven Reno with the double strike they rolled during the qualifier. Uh, that won them each a set, a set of brand new bowling balls in a bag uh, that was donated by the Paramount Bowling uh, Industries in Medway, Mass. Uh, so we want to thank Bob Perella and Paramount for being a sponsor on our show. Okay, it's 17:20. Great ball by Chalman. Is the 5-7-10. Got a little wood to work with, Dan. It's another another one of those good first ball tough leaves that we've seen. Seen a few of them today. I don't know about this wood though, Steve. It's tough to find a good spot to play it. Hey, both ladies looking looking to pin out here. It's a two-string championship match. $100 gift card at stake. That was a nice with show. a $50 trophy. We want to thank Kevin and Beth Cormier uh, for the wonderful trophies we have here today. So no marks as of yet. It's 29-26 in favor of Chelman and Reno. To see who can break the ice first. Well, if I had to pick, I think I'd rather have Chelman's leave. Uh, Get a too. tough first ball, me but too. she... But the, the, all the pins are in a bunch. Yeah, he'll be looking for a big out. It's been a lot of fun this season. We want to thank all the bowling alleys, all the houses that allowed us to participate and, and, and host our events. A three for Chelman. And a nine. For Potter, and now Lacey Potter and Robbie Taylor are in the lead. It's 35-32, and we're at the final box, the halfway point of the first string. Yeah. Stephen Reno and Robbie Taylor will be coming up. Both our young ladies represent the Woburn Bolodrome, a product of the Ganji family, and Bob Brown, their coach. Girls will be looking for an out. It's going to be very close, going at the halfway point here. And nine for Chelman, and a nice nine by Potter. Keeps it at three pins, 41-44. Anybody's ball game here. Reno and Taylor shaking hands. This is a head-to-head -head match I think we'll see for years to come, Dan. I, I think so. It's. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to this match for a while. And Turned out like I thought it might. Should be fun to watch. Reno, a nice smooth ball all over the head pin, leaving up the extra pin though, the sleeper pin. Oh, I thought he had it, Dan. Just missed. <laughs> you have to wait after he throws the ball sometimes. Taylor! So much late action. Just sliding by the head pin. And Reno settles for eight. And it's 49 through six. And Taylor with a seven. And Reno picks up a pin. It's now two pin difference. Anybody's ball game. Steven said he wasn't doing too well in practice. He says, I don't know, Dad. I may have a tough day Ooh. out there. Things Ooh. weren't going my way. There's another bomb that left nothing for a leave. But you never know in this game. You never know when things are going to turn around. Nice ball by Taylor. 
Just a hair heavy. Could have converted that. Reno with a nine. Taylor with a nine. 58 to 60. Two pins. Two pin difference in favor of Potter and Taylor. Three marks in a row will give away a Nerf football. Double strike as well. We got some candy bars and airheads and uh, a few little things here to give away along with those gift cards. The, the runners up for today's championship match will receive a $40 gift card. It's a $35 Simon Mall gift card and a $5 Friendly's gift card. Reno with a six. Taylor with a nine. 69 to 64. I would have expected these two to be a little higher, but we've got a close match. Probably turn around the next game. Well, last time Reno and Chelman were here, they were breaking the record. Today, oh, a little different. Reno with that extra pin up again. It's that kind of sport. And try to just gonna try to cut it over. A oh, little too far left. We're looking to pin out. I guess it's good for either bowler that nobody's gone hot. It's keeping everything really interesting going into the second game. Nice nine by Reno. Good ten by Taylor. Down to the final box of the first game. 73-79. This worked last time. I was going to say, both teams still looking for their first mark. Last time I said that, we popped right back with a mark for the team. So. A team that gets hot. A team that can get hot will be the team that wins. I'd be very surprised to see another game like this in the second string. No, I don't string, think then. we will. Reno trying to play the wood. It's a good it was a nice bid. Nice, yeah. nice bid. That was a tough shot. Taylor. On the outside, trying to push the head pin into everything. Reno takes 10. It's going to settle for an 83. <laughs> a mock celebration. For and him. a 9 for Taylor. Reno picks up a pin. And we have an 88. It's a 5 pin difference. Anybody's ball game. We're going we're gonna to take a break. We're going to have our bowlers switch sides. And we're going to be back with the final string of our 2008 Heat Seekers Championship in just a few moments, so please don't go away.